see a lot of that stuff over here. No, we live in a very, very clean neighborhood. Yeah, nice so, neighborhood. So we're definitely blessed to be over here. But we're still in California and there's still certain things that we can't get away from and we can't um, avoid because we're in this state. Yeah, we can keep looking for apartments, but you know, there's kind of the next phases of life that we're looking to make happen. So like, we kind of got to start thinking of where we want a house. Like, are we going to want a house in LA? Are we going to want a house here? Whatever, and then I feel like there were always more negatives of more than positive, and so we kind of came to this conclusion that maybe we should start looking at like where we'd want to actually like put our roots. Yeah, because we kind of we kind of like basically we I mean we we love California, so we wanted to stay out here, and in California, as we all know, homes here are very very expensive, and. Out here, just the value for what you get for your money, it just, you know, a lot of times it just doesn't make sense. The majority of the time, it just doesn't make sense. So we're going to go back and forth with what we want. Do we want land with our house? Because real quick, even if you could get an expensive house, it doesn't always mean it's a good decision. Like, let's say someone can go and buy a million dollar home, or two million or five million dollar home. Cool, but like if you're not getting anything out of the home, like the home's older, or the home's not super nice, the home's not in a great community, then why even like drop that kind of money, you know? It is very true, y'all. It's like, you could spend a million dollars on a home, 2.3 million, whatever the case may be. But when it comes down to like the square footage and <laughs> bedrooms and bathrooms, like what you get doesn't equate to the value. Because you're paying all of those things like property tax and a lot of yeah. things. 
Wow. Cause it's not like it's like, oh, we couldn't get a house if we stayed in California. You know what I mean? It's not that, like, we could. But does it make sense to get a house for California and, and like, invest and put all this money into your home and then it's not our dream home? You know, like, and that's what it comes down to. And, like, if we go visit, we visited these places we thought we would want to move even recently and then it wasn't all we thought it would be. So it's just like, man, we're going to go and buy a house and not like it and then not like the neighborhood and like do it just to stay in California. And for us, people that are here like love it because they're like, oh, you have the beach, you have the mountains. You have we never go to the beach. We never go to the mountains. <laughs> like we don't, I feel like we don't like use the state for what people yeah. like think it's cool for. Like, like just over the time I've, I've seen, you know, when I lived in Hollywood, I've seen like the whole like, just the whole thing. I've seen it when it was when changed. it was great, and then when I seen it when it just started going terrible downhill. You know, there used to be a place where I used to live. There used to be this like overpass bridge, and basically it was clean. Never anything under there it was super clean, no problem. After a while, time goes on, you start seeing a ton of tents on one side. And then after that, time goes on, you start seeing tents on the other side. So now you got tents on both sides. You got homeless people walking back and forth. And we've seen you know, some nothing, crazy nothing, shit nothing. in LA with homeless yeah, people. Yeah, and we, and we understand. You know, life happens, things happen. And, and, you know, people. You know, it can happen to anyone. Anyone can end up homeless. You know, yes. uh, they don't have the help that they need. You know, and for the state, they just kind of just let it be. You know, not give that help to the people who need it. But us seeing all of those things, and, and of course, everything else as far as like the taxes that's in the area, and, and you know, crazy taxes, and especially having a business and being an entrepreneur myself, um, it's, it's crazy. It can get very, very difficult for entrepreneurs yeah. and businesses to really thrive in California, you know? You can make a lot of money here, but you also have to pay a lot of taxes here. So, you know, the majority of the time you're paying 50% of taxes because the higher, more money you make, the higher you gotta be taxed. So, all these different aspects that come with living out here. And it took us a long time to start looking elsewhere because we really only had like maybe what four choices, four four picks of where we wanted to go, and that was outside right. of California or inside? Outside of California. Oh. Uh. Four choices of, 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 of places that we wanted to go outside of California, which were Texas, Texas Florida, Florida, Nevada. And was Nevada that? was very recent, though. We definitely yeah, didn't very, think about it recently. recently. What was the album? That was it. Yeah, that was it. Arizona, maybe. Arizona, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we kind of just were like, man, do we really want to stay here? And I've always said, literally since I've met Moses, that I would move to have a better like house and a better life. I've always said that because he's always like, are you really sure you'd move? And I'm like, if I'm gonna have my dream home, yeah, I'm gonna move because I'm a homebody for one. That's my favorite thing to do is be home. And so like, if I could build my dream home. And like it be a, a, not in California, like I'll do it basically. And then I, I also told Moses, little side note, like how I had like a cousin who moved out of California and basically wrote everything she wanted on a list and then found the place that suited her and her family best. So we kind of started talking about like, well, what do we like and what do we want? And California kind of wasn't, didn't even really fit the things that we. Yeah. Said we wanted. And the thing is, is like I used to answer those things because like I know what it was like when I when I moved all the way from Maryland from the East Coast all the way out here to California when I was 19. It's like it's a lot. You, you leave your family behind, yeah. you do certain things. Like you have to know and get adjusted to a whole brand new state. So it's 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 a big adjustment. You know, it's a, it's a big thing to just kind of like do. Um, but she, yeah, she's always been ready. Like yo, let's pack up, let's go, let's head out. And, um, and I used to say that, I was like, you know, let's figure out some things. Do we really need to be here? I, I think that's kind of like once we move from LA, we, we start naming out things that we wanted. You know, we want to be away from the action, we want to be close to it. Like we started breaking down certain things that we did want and what we didn't want. And I think- um, Where we live right now, we're outside of the action, but to go to LA, we're driving like an hour. Yeah. And it's very hard in LA to be outside of the action and live in like the burbs because I like the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. But be close to a city. Like there's not very many places where you could be like in the suburbs but close to a city. Yeah, 
it's, it's, it's hard to find that balance. And we are very much like, that's what we like. Yeah, we're very much homebodies. We like our like neighborhoods to be clean and nice and all that. But then we also like want to go out and like have fun and go to a nice dinner. Um, yeah, you want to be out to be around the actual, around the different opportunities. So you want to still be around those type of environments. It's like over time it can be mundane and just the same thing over and over again. So you want your retreat place where you can come and relax. We kind of made the decision that we were going to buy a home in the next Yeah, we went about yeah, we went about home within the next year. Year, 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 year and a half. Within the next year. Moses is bougie, so he wants to build a home. <laughs> oh, damn, now I'm I'm bougie. You are, you're like I don't want to live like where someone else already like built a home. I didn't say that. I'm very I'm very <laughs> about the numbers, right? So real estate is all yeah, about. Yeah, very. You smart. know, it's all about just. I'm just sure. making sure you buy the right investment property and, and, and buy the right property, even though it's going to be your primary home or where you live. You still want to make sure the numbers are right. You want to make sure you actually build equity and value into the property, because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, if we end up selling it, if we end up keeping it, holding on to it, whatever the case may be, we want to build some equity into that place. So, um, so that's kind of like the main thing. I'm, I'm always looking for even if we did a new construction home um, you still want to look and see is that market going up you know over time as those things are, is everything going to continue to grow up and not just stay stagnant so and I think so because everyone's leaving California so I think it's going to make other states become a little more expensive if everyone starts moving there you know mm -hmm. because it's just pretty much you know supply and demand that's all it is oh what are some of the reasons that we chose the place we chose? We're gonna say it, but in another video, and we kind of want to be there when we say, but we want to be in the state. So, right? Mm -hmm. After Christmas, mic drop. Uh -huh. So, as we as we said, we've been thinking about certain different places. We were looking at several different places. Hey, we want to move here, 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 and then basically just weeding out. The things that we did like about certain areas and the things that we didn't like about certain areas. Um, there's a couple key things that we do like about certain areas, um, and there's a couple key things that we didn't like. And choose some. So we didn't go with Texas. I don't want to be somewhere that is very conservative. I'm not saying everywhere in Texas is, but I just feel like if that's predominantly the mind frame there, then that's predominantly the vibe. I could be wrong, but that's why I didn't want to go there. I think for me. Mainly, I want to be. I still want to be close because I own investment properties in California still, and I do a lot of investing out here because I know. Oh, he got it. money. So I'm still always like, I don't want to. I don't want to have to take. A, I don't want to have to take a long plane ride to go back and forth if something happens or anything like that. So it's 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 it's, it's very important that I stay close by. Um, I don't have to live here in the state, but I want to stay close by. So that was kind of the main thing for me. And, you know, to me, if I look at, like, Texas, I'm pretty much like, well, I might as well move back to Maryland because it's, like, right there, you know, it's basically over there, but I'm staying right in the middle. So that was kind of my main thing is that I don't want to be too far away from Yeah, we didn't do Florida. I think Florida has a lot of natural disasters that make me a little nervous, and I hate humidity. humidity. Oh, my God. Like... When I'm in humidity, I am miserable. Miserable. Like, I think it's the worst thing ever. Your hair is messed up. Not as good as your skin is moisturized. Everything else, I hate. I'll do dry heat all day. Humidity, can't do it for a day. And I know what that's like living in, on the East Coast in Maryland. Like, it is it humid? Yeah. Oh, so I mean, you'll be taking crazy. two, three showers a day because it's like, it's terrible. See, I can't do that. And when you take a shower and then you feel sticky, you gotta give it a uh-uh. It's definitely, it's terrible, it's terrible. Yeah. Um. So that kind of kicked that off the list. Although we did, And those might be little reasons, did, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Really for us, they're important, you know? Because we did talk about, like, I mean, at a point, we did talk about, like, Miami. You know, we were like, yo, we really like Miami. Miami kind of has a similar vibe Culture, to, like, like, L.A. Yeah. So we were kind of, really, with the whole Miami thing, we wanted to get, like, one of those big, but actually there, we just wanted to get a big uh, what, what was it? Uh, Skyrise? Skyrise. Just in the Skyrise. Just, <laughs> just like that, you know? Or a vibe. Oh, I think it's important to say why we're leaving. 
and things we don't like. So, one of the things being the traffic. I hate traffic. There's so much traffic. I think that's more in LA, but still. Um, like we said, like the homeless population, the fact that they're not doing anything to like help the situation. Um, yeah, I would it's say it's definitely like the traffic. The homeless. Yeah, it has a couple things. The traffic is, is always crazy, and that's me. Mainly it's because so many people want to move here and they're coming in. So it's like, and a lot of people, I think it's what, 2 million people that live in LA? Just oh, I, I think it's around 2 million people that just live in LA. So it's like, it's it, it's not even enough housing for everyone. Because there's so many people that want to move in and they live, you know, and they want to live here. And at the same time, they have small, small that's here. So even when you go out, it's like so damn smoggy, you can't really enjoy the view because it's so damn smoggy out. It's like terrible, you know? Obviously, we touched on the taxes. Um, yeah, taxes, man. They just take everything from you. <laughs> Might as well. It's just that it's so crazy because the state is so expensive. And it's like the more you make here, the higher you get taxed. You know, so it's like your only solution is like you're like okay well if it's more expensive if it's, it's expensive here I need to make more money you go ahead and make more money then you get taxed higher so it's like there's really no win-win in this situation so it's just like here's what it is <laughs> either pay the tax or dead just the opportunity cost of just like the money or where your money could go if you had that opportunity to save more in taxes, that money yeah. could triple, quadruple, and, and make so much more for you down the line. Um, so it's it, it's a huge thing for us too because that's you know that's a, a, a very important thing for us um, with taxes and financial things like that. Yeah. What I ask her and what you know I wonder is: Are we gonna miss California? Like, are we gonna miss you know? The streets that we already know, the places that we like to go, like there's a place, there's a place, there's a place on Melrose that we love that we go to all the time called Frankie's. Like some of the best Italian. Yeah, you getting emotional? Some of the best Italian food. You know, we love it there. We love, um, you know, going to the Grove. We like going to Melrose. We like going to Hollywood. We, you know, West Hollywood. It's so many different things out here that we do love. Yeah, let us um, not just shit on it. Yeah, yeah, we, we, I fuck with California. Yeah, yeah, there's so many that. different things that we do love. You know, she's from San Diego. We go down there a lot too. So it's like, there, there's a lot of things. My family and friends are yeah. in California. So there, there are a lot of things that we will miss here. But um, I'm trying to uproot everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're both, that's the thing is that we're both trying to bring our families. My family from the East Coast, her family from uh, San Diego, like really trying to bring everybody up. So we're just, We've been on like a whole convincing. We're doing some convincing. Yeah, we've been yeah. on like a whole convincing thing. Like, hey, you need to move here. Da -da -da -da. This is why. Da -da -da. Bring the whole family. Come on, let's go. I mean, ideally, that's what we would really love. We would like our families close. We would like everybody to be close. But then I'm us. like, y'all got to make the decisions I want. No one's yeah, blaming me definitely. if you don't like it. Yeah, most most definitely. Everyone has to end up making their own decisions. Definitely. But then my sister, I don't like, know if you heard her, but she was like, no, we're all grown ass people. Like, if we move, like, no one can yeah, blame yeah. you guys. So I was like, this whole nice video, situation. although it's been a little choppy and all over the place, I think the one thing it comes down to is quality of life. And this is the choice. Do we stay in California and get a million dollar home that is older, not renovated, smaller, this, that, and the other, and then we're in California, or do we move to another state, build our dream home, not have to pay so much in taxes, actually get to enjoy the money that we work for or that we build businesses to create like if that's the options and to me it, this option over here of like stay here just when I'm born and raised here and everyone like California is not a good enough option because like I said I don't embrace California enough I don't do all the things that Californians like to do so I don't think it's a bad idea to move to another state that's still close to California and has the things that we are looking for. And when we do the next video that says where we're moving, we will explain why we chose this place, any like negative thoughts we had, like everything. So I think that it all just comes down to our quality of life. And the reason I want my family and Moses' family or whoever's willing to move to move is because I want everyone to have a better quality of life. And like when I grew up, I've never lived in like a house. Like 
okay, maybe like for like three years when I was little or four, but that was it. And then me and my family have always lived in like apartments and like, I want like my mom to have a nice house. I want my sisters to have nice houses. Like, um, I just want them to have a better life. So that's personally like, like I know Moses' mom has a really nice house, but like still, she could yeah, still yeah, get a super she, dope place. Yeah. Like, that's just what my reasoning for my family in particular would be just because I want them to have a better life and I want them to experience having the nice things that we've always wanted to have. Like, I want to do like Christmas or like the holidays. Everyone takes like a holiday, you know what I mean, to host. And everyone has a nice big ass house so everyone can host. And we have like cool places. Enjoy themselves. Yeah, like here it's like, whose apartment are we going to go to? And it's like small and like, you know, like I don't, I want to like experience a different yeah. A different like it's lifestyle. A huge, yeah, it's a huge thing for us. You know, like even with my childhood, it's like we we've stayed in apartments, but we've also been fortunate enough to live in houses and things like that. And it's just that I'm so used to being close to my family all the time. And as a kid, just doing everything that I've done from music all the way up, it's just been us. You know, always going to New York back and forth every time. So it's like for the time when I moved out here and I didn't have my family, it was just me out here. You know, I was alone, I was by myself. So it's like now, us moving, us wanting to move to a different place and actually, you know, our parents are getting to that age of where they, they're about to retire. And our sisters, we both want, you know, I want, want both of my sisters to have a, a great life and a great house, you know what I'm saying? Like, my sister has her own house, she can turn it into investment property. My other sister, she has my three nephews, it's like my, my two nephews and my niece. You know, I want them to have more opportunities have a better life out here, you know? So it's like, we both want amazing things for our families. Like, we can only suggest those things. They have to want to, you know, make those steps. But, you know, we 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 think that it's the right decision. If no one backs out, I've had, I've had everyone commit me, so far. Yeah, definitely for me. I'm just like, I like the decision. I think it would be a dumb decision. And I mean, like, I mean, overall, I think this shit is fucking fire. I think it's fine. But yeah. that's what we want. You know, overall that's what we want. We want our families. We really close. pulled it together there, babe. Yeah, we did. We we kinda brought it back together. It's still, you know. No, it's good. It's, it's coming. It's good. It's, it's almost there. It's not the end But you know guys, that's that's mainly the thing. We 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 want our families close. We want to be able to host amazing Halloweens, Thanksgivings, Christmas. I want Halloween. All all different types the holidays of holidays for our family. families. And, um, and you know, as I said, our, our, our families are, are, you know, our parents are getting to that age where they want to retire. We both want them to have amazing lives, amazing homes, be real estate, you know, investors and things like that. And just take it to the next level, man. It's, it, it, it's like there, there's no use of, of wasting the rest of your life just letting time. Because you're comfortable. Yeah. You know, I'm comfortable. I've always lived here. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you gotta, okay, but what if you like it more? What if you have a better life? What if you have a better home? What if therefore, since you are making more money, you have better everything else, you know? Because everything else changes around you, you know? And I mean, at the end of the day, it's a mindset. And you can't be afraid of change, is what I'm trying to say. You can't be afraid of change. You got to be able to just go. Yeah. And, and you know, because it can be the best decision in your life, you know? So, um, life. Yeah, of your life. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's basically, you know, where we're at right now. And as she said, we looked at multiple places. We looked at homes out there and we are... And I'm it's not... funny, I can't wait till we can say where it is because I feel like at first when we say it, everyone's like, oh, really? Like, of all the places? Like, I don't know, like, they're just a negative connotation, I think, kind of, about this state or so people. What? Or I'm just like... Are people like, oh, why did you do that? And then when I explain it, they're like, also, oh. Because don't know so much about yeah, yeah, yeah. it because we only know one side of it, too. So it, yeah. even, it even took us time to gain yeah. knowledge and learn about it, too, because we didn't know so much about it. But when I explain it to people, they're like, oh, wow, that makes sense, or that's cool. They're like, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Or, like, even one of my sisters at one point was like, I would never move there. And then, like, a week later, she was like, I'm down to move. Yeah, and, and even my like, sister, like, my older sister, she was like, I'm down. I'm ready to go. And that's crazy for me because I'm like, she's bringing the three kids and everything. And I was just surprised that she leave because we all grew up there in Maryland. That's a big, you know, East Coast all the way yeah. up to this side. So I was surprised too, but damn so. But we're trying to be on some Kardashian shit and have everyone yeah, like have live on the same fucking block. Blocks, blocks, blocks. <laughs>
No, and probably won't live on the same block. But the, but. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, is that this is something that we can actually make happen. Yeah. This is something that we can actually make happen. Everyone can live great. Everyone can have their own home. And, um, you know, and look so, out for our reality yeah. show and meet the hot ends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> reality show, reality that show on the way. Reality. <laughs> Fall out reality show on the website. Oh my god, no. We're not I mean, this is not. Comment down below and let us know what should we name the reality show. <laughs> my mom trying to do a scissor reel off top. I don't know where she trying to go with this, but we gonna see. No. <laughs> when we to put it together, she gonna put it together. Let's see. So, um, is that is that everything that we really want to share with everyone? Because Nella's down here. She's about to go crazy. Yeah. I think that's everything. I think our next upcoming videos, I want to like actually show you guys where it's at. And we're gonna put in some of the vlog. yeah. We're gonna put in some of the footage. We are not gonna put in any put footage. In footage. No, because we are going to announce where we're moving in the next oh, video. Wanna, but also, you want to go to the place? Yeah, we're not gonna so put little like iPhone clips. Like we're, so we're gonna do another like home tour and stuff. It doesn't even be a home tour. We just show it. But people gonna see like they no. don't want to see. Like, they don't want to see like the vibe. Like how do they even know? Like you gotta see these homes. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. putting our brains together and thinking about a lot of different things. Also, yeah. So hopefully what we're, what we're hoping is that when we move to a new place, we have a new refreshing start. We feel good yeah. to record and we have more inspiration and more motivation to actually shoot. So uh -huh. that's what we're hoping for. And a bigger home to shoot in. And a bigger home to shoot in. So um, yeah, guys, I mean, other than that, we got anything else stay to Stay tuned. No, stay tuned. Stay tuned this, for you You're going to want to see this. You're going to want to see where we move. You're gonna want to see the houses. You're gonna want to see the process, especially if we're building a house from scratch. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You're gonna want to see that because that's crazy, and we we can show you guys. I definitely do want to vlog that because I never want to forget that moment, and I want to have videos to always remember, like us building our first home. And I want to like show when it's just a lot, and I want to show when we're designing it. Like I want to show every single thing. So definitely, when we get to that point. Vlogs all day, every day. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's the whole thing. Now let's go crazy, on mother. Yeah, we gotta yeah. go. So we gotta go, you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend to tell a friend. Make sure to do that, you guys. We enjoyed our thing, and we want to say thank you guys for supporting us. It's Moses. Tati. Love you guys. Oh, she said we do. <laughs> I think a lot of questions, a lot of, <laughs> I think a lot of people are wondering one thing, are we going to miss California? Moses? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is a, <laughs> ah, ah, I'm fucking going to do a reality so I can't keep it cool. Oh you. yeah, we all want a reality TV. <laughs> We could be us right around in a new car We could be chilling somewhere on the rooftop We could be all over the world but we never ever really get that far Cause you always be tripping, tripping and you gotta stop